Sea Slug and Mr. Pelican by Jessica Cole, illustrated by Richard White. Sea Slug lived in the ocean among reefs, coral, and many beautiful sea animals. Sea Slug was not beautiful in a normal way. He had his own kind of look, which he liked. He thought his purple bumps had a beauty all their own. Sea Slug liked to eat. He would eat many kinds of food, but seaweed was his favorite food. A little salt water and seafood, that's a tasty treat. Sea Slug did not like to swim. Sea Slug did not even like to move. Sea Slug liked to sit on the ocean floor and watch all the pretty fish swim by. He saw clownfish, seahorses, and once even some sharks. His favorite fish were angelfish. When they swam, they cast pretty sea shadows that danced across the ocean floor. Life was lovely for sea slug. One day, a day that was just like the day before and the day before that, sea slug was watching the angelfish swim by. Out of nowhere, a huge beak dove into the water. It tried to eat one of the angelfish. Oh no, cried sea slug. Who is trying to eat one of my pretty angelfish? I need to give him a good talking to. But sea slug realized something. In order to yell at whoever was eating his angelfish, he would have to swim to the ocean's surface. Sea slug did not like to swim. Sea slug had to choose. Did he want to see his angelfish be eaten? Or should he swim to the ocean's surface and stop the angelfish eater? And for the first time in a long time, sea slug started to swim. Huffing and puffing, sea slug swam to the surface of the ocean. When he came out of the water, he saw Mr. Pelican. Mr. Pelican was a funny looking bird. He had big webbed feet and feathers. The feathers may have once been white, but were now gray because Mr. Pelican was always digging in trash. The top of Mr. Pelican's beak sucked straight out. It was four times bigger than his head. The bottom of his beak looked like a big sack. It could grow and shrink depending on how hungry Mr. Pelican was feeling. Doodle, doodle, do, said Mr. Pelican as he dove into the water. I like fish. Deedle, deedle, dee. I like fish. Listen here, said Sea Slug, bobbing in the ocean waves. You can eat all the other fish you want, but you cannot eat my angel fish. They cast pretty sea shadows and make me happy all day long. You need to go somewhere else to catch your fish. Doodle, doodle, do, said Mr. Pelican. I like fish. Deedle, deedle, dee. I like fish. Are you listening to me? asked Sea Slug. You need to go somewhere else. Mr. Pelican stopped diving. He heard an angry, squeaky sound. He looked around and didn't see anything, but the squeaky sound would not stop. Doodle, doodle, do. And another thing, said Sea Slug, if you scare all the angelfish away, you will scare the seahorses, the clownfish, and even the sharks. Please go away. Mr. Pelican didn't like this noise at all. It hurt his pelican ears. He no longer wanted to die for fish. He wasn't hungry anymore. Deedle, deedle, dee. So off he flew to look for a more quiet place to fish and dig through trash. Sea Slug was quite pleased with himself. He was scared off Mr. Pelican. And now his angel fish would be safe. He floated back down to the ocean floor. Sea Slug hit the sandy bottom. The angel fish swam in circles around him to show him how thankful they were that he had saved them. And for all we know, Sea Slug is still there today, watching the pretty fish swim by. <laughs>